So what procedures are available to stop snoring and obstructive sleep apnea? Yeah, so there's a variety, and I would say first and foremost, not a procedure per se, but if you do have sleep apnea, you're inevitably going to end up in a sleep medicine office, and you're going to have a sleep study, and you'll probably be recommended to try a CPAP or a BiPAP, uh, and you should try that, right? It's a very important first step because that's the gold standard. Do they usually work? Well, if you can wear it and you can tolerate it, it is very reliable. And so certain people, it may not, but the vast majority it does. And so it's important to tr work with your sleep doc, try different masks, try different settings, different machines. If you're not doing well, you might need a titrated sleep study where you go into the lab and they will wear the mask and vary the pressures to figure out what works best for you. And so you actually can have an opportunity to try different things. What is Inspire. Yeah, so Inspire is something where it's called hypoglossal nerve stimulation. And so what that does is there's one of the cranial nerves that supplies the motor movement to your tongue. And Inspire takes that and stimulates that nerve while you sleep. So the way it works is there's a sensor on the chest. There's a little implant that's like a pacemaker. So the easiest way to think about this is a pacemaker for your tongue. So, so pacemaker for the tongue for on the, the tongue. chest? Yeah, just like a pacemaker that it goes over here on the right side. And the way it works is you turn it on, it gives you time to get to sleep. And then once you get to sleep, every time you take a breath, it's gonna make your tongue stiffen up so it's not falling back to block the airway. Does it automatically do that with every breath or? It does, every <laughs> breath. So when it's doing its job, then the tongue should not be one of the causes of blockage of the air blockage. Correct, so whenever your tongue is not falling back, that leads you, gives you room to breathe, you don't have the apnea, you don't have the reduction in the airflow, so you sleep a lot better. And, but it's important to know to make sure, hey, that the tongue is the source of the problem, right? Because if you're somebody who it's just the walls of your throat and not the tongue, then we have to adjust the treatment options. You know, no, I'm not an Inspire salesman, but I think it's a very effective technology if you're the right patient. So I don't wanna push a patient away from it, but I also don't wanna bring somebody in who could just make a few adjustments and tolerate a CPAP.